Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a theory, guys, and it's about today's Showdown Series promo. Instead of going right into Foot Birthday, EA has elected to drop this promo first, and I think I know the reason why. I want to talk about that today and how I think this promo is going to introduce itself today on a promo Friday where we see the FC Fantasy cards leaving packs and no new promo cards coming into packs. But again, this promo of Showdown is all about the SBC. So I want to break that down today. Will we see good content, SBCs, evolutions, and the like? Or will we be more excited, actually, about the FC Fantasy cards and their potential upgrades and all of that going on this weekend, even though they're out of packs? We're going to break that down today and talk about a lot of things. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's Thursday content. There wasn't a whole lot going on, but we did have a surprise SBC and EA once again tried to mess with us and mess with investors. Let's talk about the SBC content first, starting with the Singo SBC. I mean, guys, EA didn't say we were getting any of these SBCs, but they dropped one the last three days. It is a right back in Lee Gun with technical plus, but only a three-star weak foot. High, high work rates for this card. He's not great but he's also cheap and that combination is sometimes fun it's like 50,000 coins to get this card done he does have the potential to upgrade um uh, not a lot of people were super excited about this just because it doesn't look like that insane of a card but with upgrades he could be good and the same case here with Tadebo and Telemans you can wait to do the SBC for the next basically 13 days he will have two games in that time frame where if he has clean sheets and he plays, and they were starting to win, you might want to do the SBC just in case. So leave that one there, put that one on your radar, because it is a live and upgrading card. So really, that didn't move too much on the market yesterday, but that was our player SBC that we had. We did, however, have a really good set of marquee matchups, a tradable 50k pack, and this is a very cheap set of marquee matchups as well. Only 12,000 coins to do all four segments of this SBC. You're literally paying 12k for a tradable 50k pack. That is a no-brainer. I like almost never do marquee matchups just because I'm lazy. I think I might do it this week because that is a really, really good SPC. And if you want, do it before the fantasy cards go out of packs. Maybe you have the chance of packing one. We also had a kit SPC yesterday for a pretty um, cold kit, I guess. It's very trendy, very basic looking, right? It's a throwback kit, AIK, and it's four squads. But if you want a cool kit, uh, one that you can kind of flex because not many people are going to do an SBC for a kit, you can go ahead and do that. But the real story yesterday is that EA once again dropped the lightning rounds, guys, in the store. The same ones that they dropped yesterday that made prices go down. The 85 times 7, the 84 times 10, both tradable, and the 83 times 100. Why is EA trying to make us lose coins on our investments, right? Because once again, it made the fantasy FC players drop in value, right? I'm still very invested in Ian Matson from Dortmund. I love their matchup this weekend. I think he has a great potential to upgrade. He's still 41,000 coins. He was down at like 40,000 coins flat. And it once again yesterday with the supply and with those packs being released, even though it doesn't seem like there's a crazy amount of people opening those packs, with that supply, it just automatically makes these cards drop. And you can tell that based off of the prices. Once again, these cards were very viable. Pascaro is down to 17,000 coins again. Ken Drave is 26K. Matson is down. Even some of the more expensive cards like Luis Diaz, 2.1 mil. Martins, 88K. That's like the lowest that I've seen her card. Um, so you're like very cheap investments like the safe ones per se, like Le Melu, Pedro Poro. I guess he's not that safe, but Pascaro is very safe. Um, I would say as well inside of this, I don't know, probably Le Melu and Pascaro are like two of the safest upgrades for sure. Uh, they were really good buys yesterday. Some of the heroes dropped off as well. Brolin was down at like 89,000 coins. McManaman is down even further. Uh, and it's just again because of EA dropping the lightning round. So if you're li if you're not looking the like of today's showdown series promo and you just want to get involved on in some of these cards, you probably still can. The prices are low enough. Um, again, you're just hoping that some of those players this weekend have good performances towards their upgrades and we could start to see those prices go up so just really another opportunity to invest and that was kind of all of the content that dropped yesterday it wasn't that crazy of a day now there were some leaks that i do want to talk about and some market movements to cover as well we'll cover that here in just a second but let's do a little bit of a breakdown on the showdown series promo that is coming today if you didn't see the video yesterday i want to run down what this promo is just really quick but also include some of the new info about this showdown series that we do know and also first of all 
I want to talk about why they're dropping this promo, guys, right? We're ending Fantasy FC, which, to be honest, we are leaving one of the best menu grinds that we have seen on this game through the entire year with the exchange SBCs, multiple upgrade packs. I mean, fodder being so packable, especially with the fantasy players being so packable. Tons of great SBCs to be crafting, whether it's the heroes like Alex Scott, Carvalho, or players like Todibo. Of course, who could forget about Timo Werner, right? Timo Werner's one of the better SBCs we've had. I mean in the last couple of months to be completely honest with the upgrades that he's charted for the price just how insane his card is in game so many of these sbcs even this Bujorno card are very very good cards especially with the upgrades it's been a really good promo it's been a really solid promo especially with this combination of the sbcs and the upgrades that we have had um but why did ea not want to go straight into foot birthday right that's what i think i figured out because guys EA, after having this pretty nice couple weeks of content with Fantasy FC, even though a lot of people are still frustrated with the game, this is genuinely decent content. I think most of us can agree with that. Even though these cards aren't going straight into our team and improving the power curve, these are cards that could do that with upgrades. And their prices are pretty decent for the most part, and they're decently easy to pack, except for the top tier. But the guys, that's how it's always going to be. I think EA has to have a, a down week, if you will. They have to have a quiet week before they go into foot birthday because that's what EA like to do. They like to create hype and anticipation for the big marquee, big name promos in this game by making the week before those promos pretty quiet, not that crazy. Think about the week before team of the year. We have a team of the year warm up, right? Not a lot going on. It's all about saving packs for team of the year. Before Black Friday and before Thunderstruck this earlier on this past cycle, uh, earlier this, this past year, but this cycle, it was kind of the same thing. It's slower and then you build up in the hype to that next big promo. And that is kind of the same thing that I think is going to happen this week. This is a week, guys, with the daily SBCs for the showdown promo, which is like that is the basis of this promo. EA is going to try to get us to drain our fodder and drain our coins and spend even some FC points on some pretty crazy store packs that have been added to the code that we are expecting to see in the next couple of days. They're wanting us to chase after that so that then we head into foot birthday excited for the promo, but also like needing to spend either money or replenishing our clubs through spending more money on store packs because we have, of course, nothing left there after a week of SBC. So that's kind of what I think the hope is for them. Again, we talk about this game going in ebbs and flows all the time, right? This this week is honestly probably going to be a little bit of a dip down from what we have had the past couple of weeks. I'm still hopeful, though, for good SBCs, fun showdowns, and fun cards to try out. I look at my team at the moment, and yeah, I know they're not the most meta cards, but I'm trying out Timo Werner. I did pack Elict. I was very lucky with that. I'm working on an Evo, so I'm just trying to at least have fun and try out some of these new fantasy cards and hopefully some of the showdown cards that come out. But that's enough yapping about my opinions, at least on why this promo is right now when it is. Let's talk about showdown series and what to expect today. Again, it is all about the daily showdown SBCs and also now with the leaks that we have other SBCs. It's going to be a pretty decent week of some player SBCs if the leaks that we have all turn out to be correct. But the Daily Showdowns is why this promo is called Showdown Series. The first thing I want to talk about, though, is old promo cards are going to be released back into packs. Last year, they kind of based it around rivalries, right? You had like El Clasico, Madrid, and Barcelona. You had Benzema and Pedri released for those two. You had the North London Derby. You had Harry Kane and Gabriel Jesus. You had Manchester City and Manchester United cards re-released back in packs. Kind of like, again, showdowns, rivalries. That's why they called it a rivalries re-release. We're expecting the same thing this year, but with some of the cards that have been recently in packs now again any card any time that gets re-released at packs gabriel jesus this card last year was re-released he went from 680,000 coins and then two days after he gets put back into packs he drops a very very substantial amount like 200,000 coins from 680 to about 480 in the next couple of days and his price really tanks whatever happens whoever is re-released today the same thing is probably going to happen now again it's fantasy cards sorry not fantasy it is the versus cards Fire and Ice, it is the Winter Wild Cards, and Team of the Group Stage. Those are the three different promo cards that we have seen from EA posted on their weekly content tweet that we are expecting to see 
some of them re-released in packs. Again, I say some of them. I doubt they're going to re-release all of them. And honestly, based off of last year's re-release, it wasn't even that many cards. Maybe like 20 to 25 cards in total get re-released. I'm hoping that it's more than that for sure this year since we have three Winter Wild Cards teams. We have two teams of Versus, Fire and Ice. Um, and the team, the group stage team, all those cards seem very overpriced anyway because they were so unpackable, right? Like Bellingham, Musiala, Rodrigo. They're great to trade with, but they're also so expensive because they were very difficult to pack. I'm hoping that we have a really sizable team of players that is in packs today. Again, whatever gets re-released, it will drop in price. Some of these cards have been dropping in price. A card that I just traded yesterday was Joao Felix versus Fire. He was going from 500,000 coins down to 300k. He was 300k flat yesterday. I picked him up, sold him for 370. He's now up to 390. If he gets re-released in packs, he's going to go even lower. He even has a showdown SBC League as well. Another reason why I'm staying away and just quick flip that card. That's just one word of warning I'll give you is cards that get re-released will 100% drop today. So be careful about that. But again, we're talking SBCs and showdowns. What showdowns for games that have been leaked are coming soon? That's the key. Like what SBC will we be getting today for a showdown? This is my prediction because this game is coming up very soon. And some of the other leaks that we have for showdowns are games that are like a week away. Akanji and Clark, City versus Liverpool. This would be a great set of SBCs for EA to drop today. Bobby Clark, the bronze card, we've talked about this, getting a big upgrade for sure. Akanji hopefully getting a pretty big upgrade as well. The key for this promo and the SBCs is going to be how high rated are the base cards. Last year, they went with 87 rated cards in the showdowns that then had the chance to get upgraded to an 89 with a plus two. I'm hoping this year with the power curve and the way that it's at, they're dropping 88 rated cards with two playstyle pluses or say that they're going to add a playstyle plus onto the card that gets upgraded. That's where there needs to be a little bit of extra hype for this promo. And again, if you're EA, you want people to maybe do some of these SBCs and drain their coins so that they open more packs during team of the year type of thing. Hopefully they make some of these SBCs pretty good. I'm genuinely excited for Akanji and Clark today because I think it's very possible they're dropped and Akanji is always a card that's pretty good in game. He's got a four star weak foot. If they upgrade his defensive work rates to high, medium, high he could be a very very good card and um yeah i'm excited for that one today hopefully they do the business there and hopefully again they do something different with skill move weak foot upgrades or play style plus additions to the winning card whoever wins from the showdown so that's something to watch out for today i think they are the most likely to come today and if the spcs are good as always we try to talk about this every time we have content if a kanji's really cracked and he's the most exciting card today watch out for prem center backs they would probably have a drop on the game today um, and same thing for clark bobby clark if the he's the better card and even though they're maybe not the favorite in the game it's going to be an incredible game for sure if he's a really good value SBC and has good play styles, good upgrades and stuff like that, he might make some Premier League midfielders drop. So that substitute kind of market impact could be there. Now, what other showdowns are still leaked? Of course, we've got the Felix and the Depay. A lot of hype for this one, but this game isn't until like March 17th, a long ways down the line. I don't expect to see this showdown today. I mean, they could drop it super duper early, but I wouldn't expect it, especially when we have other showdowns leaked for games that are happening sooner. Isak and Chilwell, another showdown SBC that should be coming pretty soon. Hopefully these cards get juiced as well. A chill well with pace and Isak with some shooting boost um, and some play style boost as well. He could be very, very good. Remember last year we had um we had Wout Weghorst. That was kind of the showdown SBC guy from the last two years that was very, very exciting and hype. Isak could be the next Wout Weghorst if he gets the right upgrade and if Newcastle end up winning this game. That's just a cheeky prediction that I have there. But those are the leaks that we have so far. We did have a couple of new ones yesterday. An NWSL showdown with McCaskill and Crystal Dunn. Crystal Dunn is going to 100% be the best uh, SBC to do here for sure. McCaskill is a striker or center attacking mid with like block play style. We looked at this yesterday. She has like block and um, a slide tackler, and she's a striker. Kind of a weird card, but Crystal Dunn is very meta. Um, if you remember this evolution card from earlier on in the year, very, very, very good card. So that's one to watch out for that is a leaked SBC at the moment. And then I do believe we have a couple more showdowns that are leaked. A women's um, 
Barclay Super League matchup between Manchester United and Manchester City for Lila Ohabi as a left back and Paris from United as a right mid. So that is league to come in the next week. And then, oop, jumping ahead too far there. We'll talk about Yeshin in a second. We also have Bastoni and Labatka. So right now, what is that? Five showdown SBCs, either five or six showdown SBCs leaked. That is almost all of them that we will see for this next week, which is why I think EA needs to start off with a banger today with Akanji and Clark, uh, because that could be pretty big. So those are all the leaked showdown SBCs that we have right now. Now, as you just saw, Yashin is leaked as a part of this promo as well. It looks like sometime in the next couple of days. Hopefully they don't put this off until for birthday. I really hope they don't. I hope this is something that comes out during the showdown series promo as SBCs that they put out before foot birthday that we maybe have an opportunity to craft or at least set our eyes out on to craft. Yashin has been leaked to come as an icon SBC. And with the leak, they show this version of Yashin, which is a very overpowered center back version of Yashin. He's got the hat in game. I know many people who have used this card. And especially when they got him during Winter Wild Cards, they said he was incredibly, incredibly cracked. He only has one play style plus, but he does have a good one. Block, he's got Anticipate and Intercept, arguably the best two uh, or the best three if you include Block in there. He doesn't have Aerial. He does have Relentless. Uh, but this could be a really fun SBC if it's this version, because how many people would have thought to have used Yashin as a center back. If it comes in at a good price, this could be a big one. It could be big. But here's my worry, guys. Same thing that we talked about with the Jarzinho leak. What if they release a Yashin SBC that is actually for the base goalkeeper version? I'm sure some people would still like that because I use Yashin in net in my team and he's very good. Look at this card. 1,200 games played in the current club who's selling it. It's very possible that this Yashin SBC could be the goalkeeper one as well. I just hope that these SBCs are a part of this next week of content and not pushed off till later. That is both Yashin and Jarzinho that are leaked now for Icon SBCs, which is another reason why I'm holding on still to my higher rated fodder. I just got a, a lazy sale, a couple lazy sales, uh, 37,000 coins and 34,000 coins, these 89s. I think I'm gonna have to keep listing those higher because I, I've gotten more lazy sales yesterday than I have in the past few days. And with not a lot of players probably opening packs with only a re-release out and those SBCs coming, I think I'm gonna keep lazy listing my high rated fodder. We also have Pickett coming as a moments SBC soon. So some NWSL moments links there. Um, plenty of NWSL SBCs this year for sure. I think the league is just starting up again. Their new season is kicking off and maybe that's why there's a moments SBC coming. Those are all the leaks that we have right now. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that either Yashin or Jarzinho is going to come out this weekend. I feel like that's going to happen. I feel like they would want to throw one of those additions in there just as, again, a coin suck and a fodder drain SBC before foot birthday. Now, other SBC things to catch up on, just some housekeeping items, SBCs that are refreshing today. The 84 times 5, we've got one last chance to do that SBC three different times. Again, today it is refreshing. I'm going to do it. I don't, I'm not going to save them. I'm just going to open them with the exchanges and with the 81 plus player pick out this weekend. Um, I'm still going to keep ripping through those. And even though there's not going to be as cool of cards and packs, right, with the re-release, I'm still going to be ripping through player picks and exchanges, I think, unless the pack weight changes, just because this grind is so much fun and is kind of just like unlimited player picks right doing an exchange every time you get a high rated card putting it into player picks keep getting high rated you can start crafting SBCs you just you get fodder right it's really really fun and it's amazing so I'm going to keep doing that uh, also if you want to craft the gamble player pick that is the 86 plus wild cards versus team of the honorable mentions that is going to refresh today as well the icon does not refresh today that'll refresh on Saturday. Other content that we could see today, evolutions, right? Friday's new promos, all about evolutions. There is a evolution leak at the moment that is a, a showdown Evo. I don't know if that's going to come out today. I, it feels weird that EA would maybe drop a showdown Evo that would upgrade showdown cards that were not upgraded from their previous time. You know, I, I think they might save that until later on in the promo. We'll have to see. I do expect some sort of evolution today, though, on this game. I've seen some right mids um, like Mares is right now the top of footbins. So I don't know if there's anything to do with him being a right mid and maybe potentially there's a right mid Evo upcoming. I don't know. I don't have any leaks, uh, but I do think we'll get some sort of Evo today. And uh, speaking of objectives, we'll probably have some sort of player in objectives today too. They always try to do something around there. And, um, you know, I have a sneaky suspicion with the Future Stars Cup 
sorry, fantasy cup that is going away now, Future Stars. That was a while ago. This fantasy cup was so incredible, and it's ending today. I have a suspicion that they might give us some draft objectives at some point during the weekend. They like to go cup and then drop some hype for draft, and I could see that on this off week of content, if you will, happening at some point this weekend. Two. Now let's talk market a little bit. You see, I still have a transfer list full of a lot of cards. I've been trading a little bit. Uh, there's going to be plenty of market movements today, specifically with the fantasy cards. A lot of interest here, right? Because you have even cards that are playing games today on Friday. I believe Barca play Mallorca, and that would mean potential for Gundawan to get some upgrades if they're able to win this game. This could be a card you watch very closely today. I know yesterday he dropped down a bit again. He was 260 lows. But again, there's hype for this card today. If Barca do end up winning, if he were to play, if he were to assist or score specifically as well, there's potential. Um, I don't think he's injured. I, I don't know for sure in his in his case. But, you know, that's a card that is playing today as well. Um, I think Napoli might be playing today as well. So the upgrade potential for Polatan to go to a 91 is he still 46k all right that's an undercut but if there's i mean if there's Politano sitting at 46k i literally think they play today so that's a card that i would want to buy um just for the fact that if they score two goals this bro is going to a 91 rated card and in that case he will be probably about uh 10 000 coins more and that is an investment that i would love to make looks like he's not 46k but that's a price that i like for him 46 000 coins but he's starting to go up a little bit he was right around 50k yesterday so that 46k is an undercut for sure if we can cop one or two we will um but yeah that's the stuff that i would watch for today and that's where everybody's eyes are going to be on these cards for the games that are happening this weekend the investments that people are going to be holding and why not right i totally get it the promo is probably not going to be that crazy again you think about why ea is dropping this right it's an off week before foot birthday it's probably not going to go that crazy so there's going to be a lot of hype on these cards and a lot of people that are holding on these cards and just waiting to see what happens with these games and uh yeah there's that now if you do want to make an investment as well and you're like nate how can i put my coins to work right now for the next couple of days we are getting a lot of player species right and that of course means you're going to need fodder 85s are ridiculously low four point i think they were 4.2 or 4.3 k earlier um yeah this is an incredibly low price for 85 if you can get them for 4.2 to 4.3 k anything under four and a half i think is phenomenal um even with the 86 plus player pick that's refreshing today really you're just hoping that these get required from un for another sort of upgrade pack spc um, or all the player SBCs that we're going to be getting. I love the 84 to 86s for the player SBCs that are coming out and maybe for some other upgrade packs. I love that fodder investment there. I'm not really investing anymore in the higher tier. I'm just holding, right? Because these cards are up. But now I'm just more so of holding the cards that I've already invested in, hoping for them to rise further with the icon SBCs that we could potentially be getting. Um, so yeah, if you want to go in on fodder, 84s to 87s, I'd include them in there as well uh, for a current fodder investment that I think looks pretty good. But I think it's maybe more lucrative to actually go into the fantasy cards. It is a little bit more risky still to be investing in these because you guys know it could be one game uh, where the player doesn't play well or whatever the club does not show up for that game and all of a sudden you have a card that is going to be dropping because once again for sure there will be panic selling on these cards if they get close to an upgrade threshold but they don't quite eclipse that right that is one thing that is for sure to happen if a player's club or the player themselves does not perform well you're going to have some panic selling and there is risk to losing coins with this but on the flip side there's also a lot of potential to make coins as well. And if you're wanting to, again, just make a safe play and you're wanting to hold on to a card for a while, um, go the fodder route. Orban is not a fodder card per se. He could be, right? If he goes to an 89 or a 90 rated, you know, his price could go up a little bit because um, just because of that potential only. But really, he's more of like a meta card that if he gets upgrades could be super cracked. Again, the fodder investments would be Le Melu for like 27, 28K, Marmouche, uh, really for like 24. Um, Pascaro for like 16, 17 would be a fodder play for sure. And I don't even know. I mean, Kandreva kind of, but Salernitina is literally last in the league for Serie A. So I don't want to invest in a card who is upgrading with a team that's not playing that well at the moment. So try to stick to the teams that are playing better too and uh don't forget about the heroes parma i think parma played today so if you can get brolin for like ninety thousand coins or less than that i think this is a really good investment too 
Um, if he goes up to a 90 rated card and hits that uh, potential uh, for an upgrade, he could be a pretty nice looking card as well. So I really would like to pay 90K for him or maybe even 88. Maybe we cop a bit here and stock one on the transfer list. But um, yeah, that's probably a move today as well if you're interested in investing. And if you don't want to invest and if you want to trade, there's going to be great trading opportunities with the cards that get re-released in packs today too, especially for these rare cards, right? I mean, it goes without saying, if they were to release, um, I don't know, what's a good example? If they were to re-release today this Ice Sun, and let's say he drops down to like 900K, this is still going to be a very difficult card to pack. And whatever panic selling and whatever drops you have, you're going to see some rebounds too. Even on some of these cards, we saw some crazy movements yesterday with the road to the finals as Brighton lost big. So this Fati is down bad. And you also had an injury scare with Konate. If any of you guys are wondering why Konate started dropping yesterday, he was subbed off during the game, injured, and then he did uh, bounce back up in price because evidently the injury, I think from what the news that I've heard, maybe isn't that, um, isn't that bad, but he is down still a little bit with that injury scare after being subbed off yesterday. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening today in this game. One last thing. This is how EA is going to try to get some money over the weekend, guys, and over this next week. They are dropping a bunch of crazy packs in the store that guarantee old promo cards and a lot of icons. Like, some of these packs are crazy. Includes a guaranteed Winter Wild Cards versus Road to the Finals, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, or Future Stars Player Pick. All items and tradable. Here's a Foot Birthday Player Pack guaranteed from Team 1 or 2. That's probably going to be in the new season. It's probably where that... Uh, Pack is being added there. Uh, includes one Encore player item from any campaign released prior to Showdown series. That's kind of a really interesting grab bag. One Encore player item from any campaign released prior to Showdown series. Would that include Team of the Year? Not including Heroes or Icons. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a real big one right there because that says any campaign prior to Showdown, which would include Team of the Year. All right, we're going to have to see if there's any fine print text on that pack when it gets drop, uh, dropped. Remember, that is the grab bag player pack. Um, and then there's some other crazy ones. We've talked about the epic historical encore pack, which is four icons, and then an 81 times 35 inside of the pack. They're going to do everything to make it seem like these packs are crazy in the store, and they're going to want to make you go and spend some FIFA points and spend some real money on these. But, like, uh, nah, I, I don't think... It's worth it at this stage. They are going so crazy with the untradeable store packs this year. It is wild. And I really do think it is part of why this game is really... A lot of people are not happy with it at the moment. So hopefully EA can turn it around today in terms of what we expect. I'm not expecting much, but hopefully there are a couple of bright spots and some just nice cards that we get to go and craft showdowns are always fun because you love the live and upgrading aspect and there's a lot of that right now with fantasy but if you add another aspect in it with sbcs and live cards there's a lot of fun to be had here so i hope ea delivered today especially with some other evo content and objectives too i hope they deliver today guys so that is the video for today if you're excited for showdown series drop a thumbs up comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys in the twitch stream today the links in the description and we'll be trying to pack a few of these brand new cards that are in packs and maybe crafting some SBCs all the while watching the fantasy cards as they move this weekend. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. I appreciate all the support on the channel as always. And I'll see you in the stream today. It's been Nate's account. Catch you guys there. Peace.